Hello and welcome back to one of our podcasts again. It's been a while, a very long while actually. It's March 2010. We are picture locking in about 36 hours. This is it now, we've got to decide on our edit decisions and stick with them because we've been playing around for so long and you know, not just since November, but the whole of last year. We are working really fast to try and get to Cannes, um, which is in mid-May. But the decisions whether or not we're allowed to go to the festival at Cannes is uh, next week and the week after. So we're really rushing to meet those deadlines. Over there we've got the Soho screening rooms, which is where our film's going to get screened next Thursday the 12th to the Cannes jury. We've been editing in two different locations, really, here at Ascent, where we're doing all our post-production and at Speed, which is uh, around the corner in Poland Street, where we've been doing our main creative edit. Sam, the editor, has been working elsewhere and sending cuts in, which is kind of weird. Usually it's all done in one room, but we're spread about all over so long. We've had the five minute call from Sam, so we better get going. We've got an hour and a half to do um, yeah. an hour and 15. Uh, I, I didn't think since the shoot that we would kind of feel such a pressure again. I kind of thought it was over and then this week um, it's been really difficult I think for Liz and I to um, kind of find our feet a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay so we're sitting here in the cutting room this afternoon with about 36 hours to go before picture lock desperately trying to get the uh, climactic scene of the film where Nikki confronts her mother um, with the truth of her origins. And so it's a very 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 important scene and I've yet to get it right because of, um, because I haven't, you know, but now I will. Okay. <laughs> we are very close now to the end of the process. The light is at the end of the tunnel. And generally on a feature, you'll shoot, you'll edit for 10 weeks and it's quite concentrate period. On our film, we've edited for a lot longer than that. It's long haul uh, compared to the short films. It's um, very demanding in terms of patience. Um, which I'm not so good at. The absolute um, in-depth knowledge you need about every scene in your film. There's, and there's so many different ways to edit a scene. It's like, it's very impressive in terms of the, the team that you work with and the different approaches they give it. You never know, you could just use a couple of frames from a particular take that you thought was not, was not working and it can transform an entire scene. You have to remember every decision you've ever made. So when you're making something, you're you're, you're not wasting people's time and you're communicating to them what, what happened before and why you did it. Are we coming back here to do the animation stuff? Yes, it's exciting. One particularly exciting aspect of the edit has been the opportunity to explore animation. We discovered a great illustrator, Ollie Orbach, who we did workshops with on animation um, years ago. And we decided to try out uh, titles or end credits sequence for the, the film, but then as we were looking like last week at the beginning of the film, we were suddenly thinking, actually, do you know what we could do? We could also use the animation there, because uh, we had quite an issue starting with starting the film off in terms of setting up sympathy for our, our character, Nikki, and then we started thinking, why don't we actually use the animation to show her story through her images? And, uh, and it's just worked so well. And it's just such a last minute kind of explore, but it's really paid off. Now, you know, very excited, I think, about the fact that we will have achieved this. And then from there, we'll look at sound and how sound can influence picture. The pressure is, is very strong, but I'm realizing that we can bear it. And we're, we're good at dealing with it. And hopefully this bodes well for the rest of the film and maybe other films as well. <laughs> so.